Well, you're back with Connect the World. And it has been a busy first full day in Pakistan for Britain's Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The morning began with Prince William and his wife Catherine visiting the students in Margala Hills National Park, located at the foothills of the Himalayas. They also met with the country's Prime Minister Imran Khan and his official residence in Islamabad. Their visit coming at a complicated time for the country. CNN's Max Foster following the royals on their tour of Pakistan. He joins us now from Islamabad. And Max, you also sat down with Prime Minister Khan. What did he have to tell you? Well, he's been on a bit of a mad dash himself. In the last few days, he was in Iran, in Tehran, meeting with President Rouhani, and then he came back to meet uh, Prince William, the Duchess of Cambridge as well. He hasn't seen Prince William for 23 years, and that was when William was a boy, and uh, the former cricketer told Prince William that he wanted to be Prime Minister one day. So they haven't seen each other since, and now, of course, he is Prime Minister. So a personal moment for him. But he's actually, uh, that only happened just a few hours ago, but he's already in Saudi Arabia, the Prime Minister, uh, because he is, uh, he sees himself in this a moderator, facilitator role in these tensions, these fast developing tensions between Saudi Arabia and Iran. And I had a chance to speak to him about that before he headed off to Riyadh. So you're working with President Trump, I understand it, on the Iran um, Saudi situation. Are you, have you been empowered by him to mediate or facilitate there? Well, President Trump, when I was in New York, uh, did say that. We should try and uh, uh, be a go between Iran and the United States. And I did uh, speak to uh, uh, President Rouhani when I was in Iran about the U.S. offer. And, and that's an evolving situation. So let's see if, if, if it gets anywhere. Are you able to say to President Rouhani that there may be a goodwill gesture at some point coming from the United States to help with that bilateral relationship? Um, but, but the U.S. is a little bit more complicated. Uh, so, we, I, so I won't go into too much details about it until there is some response from both sides. Are you positive? I think so. I think um, there's a realization. I think President Trump, uh, you know, say whatever people will say about him and criticize him. But at least he, what I like about him is he does not believe in wars. Uh, there you go, Becky. And that was interesting. When I developed that sort of line of thinking, you know, is he wrong to be pulling his troops out of Syria, for example, out of uh, Afghanistan? And actually, the Prime Minister is very clear to say, well, actually, how long do you stay in there? Is it the right idea to keep perpetuating these wars? So he's quite supportive of Donald Trump, which is surprising to some. How are Prince William and Catherine getting on? Well, I think they're getting on really well, actually. Uh, a lot of the pictures have been fantastic coming out of Pakistan. And, you know, this comes hot off the heels of a recent visit of the Sussexes to South Africa. So lots of comparisons being made. So what you see here is a couple really embracing the media, trying to make the most of it. Interesting as well, there are Diana references throughout this tour, as there was in South Africa as well. Imran Khan was a great friend of Princess uh, Diana. But I think that Prince William is very clear that he wants to carve his own... Uh, furrow, if you like, his own path with his royal role as he goes forward. There will be nods to Diana, but he wants to be his own man. I think Imran Khan was really supportive of that as well, as someone who knew Diana very well, and he was very pleased with how the trip went today. Uh, tomorrow they head up to the glaciers to talk about the dangers of climate change. A, a big glacier there, um, slowly melting, and a big concern to people in Pakistan and Prince William, and of course people around the world as well. Mm. Pictures are gorgeous. All right, Max, thank you.